During that, we uh, prepare the chenille ball. We have the breast here. We fill that with uh, fresh truffles, and we have the leg. We have the leg here. We uh, prepare ragu out of the legs. So we start with doing the ragu. We take the leg, and uh, we have some milk there. We put some oil or butter. No, 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 no. We just roast it for a little while. During that, we start with the breast. You have to breast like this with the skin, and then you cut one. Uh, butterfly. Yeah. Butterfly. But to butterfly the breast means if you've got a quite a thick piece of meat and you take a knife and diagonally cut through it about three quarters of the way so that you can then open the fillet out. Okay, so this is a real treat. This is a black perigot truffle. Uh, and we are really very privileged to, in Singapore, in the humidity that we have here, to have a freshly flown in black perigot truffle. So now I just added some uh, mirepoix. It's some uh, cubes of uh, carrots, celery and uh, leek and some herbs, a little bit of thyme and uh, rosemary. Just roast it together with the leg and then uh, add some red wine, reduce it a little bit and then you add some uh, chicken stock and then you cook it very slowly until it's uh, soft and then you just um, Release just it. remove it from the, from the bone. Remove it from the bones. Yeah. Okay, back to the guinea fowl. Okay, now when the truffle is inside, we close that and we take uh, another little bit of the stuffing and add more truffles. Now you take, we have taken the fillet off the breast. So just now we do it like this over the truffles. And uh, in the kitchen, we take a vacuum machine to close it. At home, you can take just a, a plastic bag to close for. When it is like this, we just keep it into uh, hot water and leave it there for just like five minutes. Fry pan? Yeah, into a hot fry pan to make the skin a little bit crispy. And uh, that's it. So here we have, the, we have the ragu, we just leave it like this, we don't cut it in uh, small cubes, we just leave it so. And uh, we also have the sauce within the ragu. With this we serve some leek, we just cut it into small pieces and uh, some smashed potato. You can also use a, a really beautifully flavoured olive oil, if you prefer instead of the butter, so that you get that wonderful fresh grassy herby flavour. So we just put the smashed potatoes on the plate like this. So you just put the leek inside, uh, which you just heat it with a little bit of butter, and then you can use a little bit of uh, vegetable stock to cook it, add some salt, some pepper, that's it. In the middle of the smashed potatoes. Then we put the ragu on top of the leek. So uh, the rest of the, the sauce, which normally is the rest of the ragu, you can add a little bit. To drizzle around the top. Yeah.